so you know in our in our work what we're really doing uh, as you use the word fixation holding resisting you know a Zen master is one who unties knots and breaks down barriers so that life force can flow and the same is true in Aikido right. it's really more about letting go you know it's not about learning how to move it's the movements are sort of there it's more about where is it that I'm not willing to move and can I release release that exactly right is that yeah. fair totally fair totally fair because when we're repeating okay. the movements we, we learn the forms and when we're repeating the movements yeah. we're basically perpetuating the past yeah. Uh, not, not, uh, repeating the past, and hopefully if there's awareness, we're just repeating it. it. But if we bring a lack of awareness into that repetition, then we're perpetuating karma from the past. And it's the, right. the, 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 the challenge is to stay, right. to stay really awake and present in the moment. And it's a dojo, so it's meant to be that way. But of course, as human beings, we, we lapse. And you know, mm -hmm. shit comes into the, in, into the Aikido relationship like anything else, even more sometimes. But what's so beautiful about it, and, and like in your work, it's it's a relational, energetic, verbal, mm -hmm. um, uh, mm -hmm. communicative conflicts that mm -hmm. come up, psychological, inter interpersonal, and all yes. that's there in Aikido as well. But what's the most, the strongest in, in, in component in Aikido is that it's physical. It's it's we bring all that into the physical yeah. domain. And in terms of spiritual practice, it's kind of the only one that I know that mm. deals with the, the the core of conflict on a physical level, but with yeah. looking for a spiritual result. Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah, makes me want to practice Aikido. We're gonna do. It. Will, you, will you Will you move to Salt Lake? I'll do. I won't promise, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll keep it open. <laughs> Not to lure you away. From this I'll keep it open. Be great to have you here. Well, I don't know. The, for the first time that we did some, we did a little. You and you and Mark were teaching, and you asked me to do an embodiment piece, and I said, "Okay, Diane." So I want you to to attack me. <laughs> you tackled me like in football. <laughs> Next thing I know, I'm on the ground. I'm like, what the hell is that? I'm like, no, you can't do that. <laughs> Don't attack me like that. Yeah, right. It's like, no, it has to be like I'm this. Just a, I'm just an old street fighter. Yeah, right, exactly. I have no form. You know. like, just brutal and, brutal and violent, you know. The Utah, what were you, the Utah rodeo queen from? Yes. yes <laughs> what are you tackling? You're like, you like, uh, you, you, you. No, you know where I learned to fight? I learned to fight with my brothers, your brothers growing yeah, up. Yeah, I, I learned yeah. that the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs>